never, never seen life Seems like we just living trying to get right Dreams like I could boss up the street life But these visions fall short when living in the street life Every day we wake up, we live in constant fears Treading in the same waters we done tread for years Shot down in the streets, we used to hang from trees It's 2020 and we still trust our enemies George Floyd and Amari, just another case That God used to put our enemies in our face But we don't listen, no With some simple jokes The scripture says two-thirds of us gotta go Fighting for my people, you out here begging for justice K Kings of the earth, no business begging for nothing Hands up, don't shoot, I'm disgusted Elijah called fire from the heavens We're the sons of the prophets the reason why people are protesting, rioting, caught up in all this foolishness that they're in right now is because they don't even understand what kind of condition that they're in right now. Right. Get Deuteronomy 28 about blindness. Get that. You got it? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 29. Bring it out. And thou shalt grope at noonday huh? as the blind gropeth in darkness. So like a blind person, they can't see, right? They, they, to them, it's blackness, right? And they're trying to find their way through the earth, right? So read that again. And thou shalt grope at noonday. So God says, our people, which are the Israelites according to the Bible, they are the ones that's going to be groping at noonday. At noonday. The sun is right above us. This is noonday. And a lot of people might think that a million man march is the solution to our problem, right? But God says what? And thou shalt grope at noonday. Uh -huh. As the blind groping in darkness. God says all our people, about a million of us about, is groping in noonday like a blind man in darkness. Gee. God is telling our people, look, it don't matter how much y'all protest, it don't matter how many people you gather, get that in Surat 16, it don't matter how many people you gather, our people are wrapped up in darkness. But a blind man in darkness, he don't understand his surroundings, right? Because right. he's blind, he can't see it, right? Read this. Watch this, this million man march, this is trash. It's trash, this is what God say. Read that, Sarah 16 and one. Sarah, chapter 16 and verse one. Read, right. it out. Read that. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. Read that again. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. So God says do not desire a multitude of unprofitable children. What is unprofitable? Unprofitable to the conditions that our people are in, right? Because a lot of people want to find the solutions to our problem. We've been marching for 50 years. We've been in slavery for over 500 years, right? And when I say over 500 years, I'm talking about the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We are the children of Israel according to the Holy Bible. That's right. We are the Israelites. And God says, read that again. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. So what is unprofitable children? Children that do not know the solutions to our problems, to our conditions, right? Children that do not keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Good, but guess what? Go to Isaiah 30 and 12. Our people don't understand the condition that they're in. And they trust that, because guess what? With these marches, who you got to go to in order for you to get the permission to do the march? The white man, right? Esau in the Bible. That's what God calls him. Esau, right? Teach. Listen to what God huh? said. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Read. Read it Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. This is what God said. Read. Because he despised this word. Now, how do our people despise this word? Like your brother was bringing out. Look, our people are break, breaking God's commandments. A lot of our people do not know God's commandments. Why? Because the Christian church that's on every block in the hood is not teaching our people God's commandments. Right. So because you do what? Because he despise this word. And because our people despise this word. How, some, how else our people despise this word? A lot of our people do not understand that. Look, the Bible is the solution. But the Christian church do not teach the Bible. Right. They teach their own sermon that the white man who they had to go to the theology schools to get an understanding of and learn from them and teach our slave doctrine. Right. That, that's you still got black on black crime, gang violence, right. people stealing from each other, right? Killing each other. Right. Why? Because our people do not know God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. They despise his word. Read on. Because he despised this word uh -huh. and trust in oppression. And do what? And trust in oppression. Our people trust in oppression. That's why they trust in it so much 
they can gather a so-called one million men and march down the street for what? What did that, what did that prove? What did that do? The only thing you got out of a, a, a million man march is some tired ankles. Right. Read That's the only thing you got. Read on. Teach trust Read and on. oppression. And trust and oppression. Go ahead. And perverseness. And perverseness. Read. And stay there on. And our people stay there on. Guess what? What, what? what? With drugs, people get high on drugs, right? And get hooked on it, right? And they stay there on. Read God says, all oh, this right here that our people are in, it's like crack. Our people stay on it. And they get a feel good so much from all this. Oh, we done got a million people. We done got a march down the street. We, we done please Massa. Chief. Massa happy today. God says what? Read that again. Because he despised this word. Uh, because our people despise God's law, statutes, and commandments. And we're going to show y'all, because I know some of y'all new coming up. We're going to show y'all some law, statutes, and commandments in a little bit. Go ahead. And trust in oppression. Now people trust in oppression. Go ahead. And perverseness. And perverseness. Go ahead. And stay there own. And another point how people stayed on, guess what? Then, then we marched to it, Martin Luther King. Guess what? They killed him. Bring they killed some of our people. Jeez. What we do? March again. Riot again, right? Guess what? I, uh, George Floyd got killed, right? What, what we do? March again. Protest again. Right. What is it doing? Think about Bring it. it y'all got to understand y'all condition that y'all in. That's you realize right. that. All these marches, it don't matter if you got a million men. Guess what? That ain't going to do junk. Guess what? The so-called white man, he got nuclear bombs. That's right. right. What can y'all do against nuclear bombs? Right. Not a doggone thing. But guess what? It's something more powerful than a nuclear bomb that the world don't understand. It's called the Holy Bible. That's, That's right. right. It's called God's word. Read on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Guess what? Because our people, we got a breach in our nation. That breach in our nation, guess what? All these protests, all these marches, who y'all have in the midst of it? Y'all got the enemy in the midst of it. That's right. But y'all but, so, but our people so lost all in the sauce, they don't understand right. they got, that they got the enemy walking with them. For example, right. y'all ever cooked before, right? Like some meatballs, spaghettis or something, have some sauce, right? What you do when you stir in the meatballs and stuff? It get lost in the sauce, right? Uh, teach, right. So guess what? That's how our people is. The so-called white man turn y'all in a circle, turn y'all in a circle, right, and now right. y'all gone. Y'all bugged right. out. Right. Right. I don't think a million man march gonna do something. Right. That's trash, read. Swelling out in a high wall. Uh -huh. Who's breaking coming suddenly at an instant? Right, because our people are gonna fall instantly. And guess what? Y'all don't even understand. Out. The so-called white man is plotting behind the scenes on y'all soul something serious. Y'all don't even out. understand it. Y'all don't even understand it. They getting ready to destroy y'all. But I feel like, hey, we're going to march. We got to vote. That's not going to do nothing. You've been voting since you got out of slavery. Out. Guess what? You still in slavery. Right. And guess what? Chattel slavery still going on today. Watch this. Right. You got, you have, who, matter of fact, who was the speaker? Was it a man or a woman leading the march? Right. It was a woman, right? The brother touched on that a little bit earlier, right? Watch right. this. And sister, I'm glad you stay here. Read this. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. Because I know sisters would have been on his high tail a lot of here. Thus, you see, you don't want no sister standing. Read. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? And this is directed to our women. Read. For the Lord have created a new thing in the earth. So God said this is a new thing in the earth. Go ahead. A woman shall come past a man. A what? A woman shall come past a man. A woman shall come past a man, meaning the women instead of the men are going to be leader now. Wow. That's what the Bible says. Read that again. How long wilt thou go about, O thou back? Sliding daughter. God says our women are backsliding, turning away from him, going backwards. Why? Because they, because the so-called white man destroyed him. Get, hold that. Get Deuteronomy 28, 48. That's what I, that's what I wanted. Get Deuteronomy 28, 48. I'm going to show you what took place because all the situations where we in right now. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it on. This right here with sign. Have you ever heard of slavery, right? You ever heard our slavery, right? Chains on our necks, slave ships, right? Watch what the Bible says. Go ahead. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God says our people, which are the Israelites according to the Bible, are going to have to serve their enemies. 
Let's let's see if it's our own people, because a lot of people think that the only enemy they got is their brother that looked just like them. Bring it up. Watch this. God says a nation of people gonna have to serve their enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. God, see? That? God sent the white man against us. Right. Why? Because we broke his commandments as the Israelites. Right. That's right. We don't. In hunger. In hunger, we're going to have to serve him, right? And in thirst. If you want something to drink, go ahead. And in nakedness. Clothes on our back, we're going to have to serve him, go ahead. And in what? Of all things. Anything we want, we're going to have to serve our enemies for that, go ahead. Watch this. It's so heavy that the signs that our people got, Black Lives Matter, I can't breathe. You got to get that sign from the enemy. Right. No. Read. And he shall. And he, the same enemy. Read that again. And he huh? shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. One more time. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This, what are we reading? The Bible. That's right. We're reading the Bible. God says this nation of people are going to have yokes of iron on their neck. Who that happened to? Who, who that happened to? Who this happened to? I'm asking y'all a question. Who that happened to? Us, right? God says this is going to happen to the Israelites. It's proving that we are those people. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now go back. Oh, keep reading. Until he have destroyed thee. Yeah, the yokes of iron are going to come off our necks during the Emancipation Proclamation. Where, uh, who is that? Uh, Lincoln. Abra Abraham Lincoln uh, made a law where, you know, we be taken out of slavery, right? In chattel slavery. That's when the Emancipation Proclamation happened. Now that our people are so destroyed, because the Bible said the chains gonna come off once we're destroyed. Now we thinking that, go back to Jeremiah 31 and 22. Now we oh! think now they done switched the roles. Now the women is above the man, and the man is following behind the women. Teach! Right? Read this. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. Go ahead. Oh! How long wilt thou go about? Oh, thou backsliding daughter. God says, how long you backsliding women will go about? God is talking to the Israelite woman. That's the so-called black right, women. Right. Read. For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. And God says, this is a new thing in the earth. Read. A woman shall come past a man. A woman is going to be over the man now. A woman, a woman is going to believe in a million man march. Teach. That don't make no sense. Bring it on. That don't make no sense. Read. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. the God of Israel, mm -hmm. as yet they shall us this speech in the land of Judah mm -hmm. and in the cities thereof. Uh -huh. so, I, we, so we're going to utter this speech in the land of Judah. Y'all are Judah according to the Bible. The right. so-called American blacks, they are the tribe of Judah. Right. Yes, right. Y'all understand that? And, and get uh, Isaiah 3 and 12. Watch this. I gotta, I gotta, it's, it's not to bash y'all sisters, but y'all really have to change your mindset. Y'all are not supposed to be in a leadership role as far as leading men, as far as leading men. Read this. Isaiah chapter three and verse 12. Read up. For my people, for my people, children are their oppressors. So God says for his people, children are their oppressors. How do our children oppress us? This right here, how, how do our kids oppress us? No? All right, good, good, good. How, how do our children oppress us? Anybody know? Our children, read that again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So how do our children are our oppressors? You got gang violence, right? Bring it out. And all, a majority of the black on black crime is young kids killing another young kid, right? Just because of a color. Oh, I, I got a blue flag. Oh, I got to kill somebody with a red flag or a black flag. Vice versa, right? right? Or a yellow flag. Because guess what? It's not only black on black crime, because a lot of people leave the Hispanics out, right? The Hispanics and Native American Indians, they are the Israelites as well. And the Hispanic Indians, you got like stuff like the MS-13, Nietas, uh, you said Vice Lords, right? They all fight against each other. Why? And it's mainly the children. Read. As for my people, uh -huh. children are their oppressors. God says children oppress us in these gangs. They're the ones robbing our people, right? What was that challenge they had? Like they punch somebody out, yeah. knockout challenge. 
All that's foolishness. That's our children oppress us. You can't even walk down the street without looking over your back for somebody to look just like you, whether you're going to get robbed or shot down in the back. Bring it up. And women rule over them. Well, and what? And women rule over them. God says the women rule over these children that's causing them. God tell you, these women that are ruling over them, causing them to go in the game. Why? Because the man not in the house. The man's Bring not in the house. <laughs> and when the man's not in the house, the woman is there alone to raise up the kid. Right. And right. she's going to teach him his effeminate ways emotions and stuff like that right? Right, right so now the children grow up oh you step on my shoe i gotta kill you oh you got a, a blue flag a blue bandana i gotta kill you you got a red bandana i gotta kill you right. you got a yellow bandana i gotta kill you you nothing but a color right. 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 all my people huh? they which lead thee mm -hmm. cause thee to earth god right. says these women that that lead our people cause them to earth that's so guess right. what? With the million man marching, you got one woman leading a million men. God says that that woman is going to cause all those men to earth. That's right. First off, they're erring because what? She ain't teaching them God's laws. She ain't teaching them God's laws. Watch this. Get um, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I don't think we need that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that. Which pertaineth unto a man. So, sis, right, what that mean? Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Bring it out. I'm not going to say that. All right, sis, what, what does this mean? Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sis, what that mean, sis? Sis, right here. The map. What does it mean when to the, the comedians, they look up to the actors, Bring it out. Right? The, the music people, right? In the music industry, they look at them as leaders, but God says a man shouldn't put on a woman's garment. You got a lot of comedians, music, people in the music industry that wear dresses. Men that wear dresses like P. Diddy, uh, who else? Uh, ASAP Rocky, all of them, right? Right. They all wear dresses and skirts. God says do not do that. Read on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God right. says that's an abomination to him. That's disgusting to him. Right? So, um, go to uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. 1 Timothy 2 and 9. So, like the brother was saying earlier, we're trying to show y'all how to get back to that godly state that y'all once were. For the women, God says, and the men, do not, print, do not uh, what's that, cross dress. That's against God's laws. And, uh, and something... Something that our people always say, we say, we'll tell them the solutions to our condition is God's law, statutes, and commandments. But you know what our people say? Oh, we'll say repent. They'll say, I repent. I get on my knees day and night and I repent and I cry to God all day long. But guess what? I bet you still got on pants and God said don't wear pants. Our people have not repented yet. They don't even know what repentance is. Why? Because the Christian church is not teaching the Bible. Right. The solution is the Bible, the laws of God. But the Christian church do not teach that. 
Read that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God says the women are supposed to adorn themselves, clothe themselves in modest apparel. Look right here. What, what is modest apparel? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What is modest apparel? Say that again. You said not revealing? Not revealing, right? That's modest clothes. So sisters, if y'all have on tight jeans, right, cut off up here to the thigh, or you, if you have a dress on that's all the way up, right, showing your legs, God said that's not modest. Read on. In like manner also, uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. And pants is not modest either because why? It showed the women curves off. And I guarantee you every sister, a lot of sisters, when they, when they put on the pants, what they do in the mirror? Try to pull it oh. up, right? God says, God says women have to dress modestly. Go ahead. In modest apparel, uh -huh. with shamefacedness and in, uh -huh. in sobriety. He said with shamefacedness and sobriety. Shamefacedness, you're not all up in a man's face, spitting, yelling in his face, right? Always going back and forth with him. God says you got to have a shame face. A, quite a meek spirit, man. Not with braided hair, uh -huh. or gold, or pearls, or closely arranged. Now that doesn't mean that you can't deck yourself out. That right? look nice, but God says do not let that be who you are. Do not let that be who you are. Is that right. it? Yeah. yeah. But which becomes women professing godliness. But we, once you take off the pants, put on a modest dress or skirt, right? God says that is women professing godliness. Right. But the Christian church, what what happened? They might wear a lot of a lot of sisters might wear dresses and skirts to the church. Bring it out, right? But you got also women in the churches twerking. Right. You can see videos all on YouTube doing that. Bring it out. Sisters in the churches twerking and stuff like that, and what everybody yeah. doing? Hey, thank you, Jesus. Our people bugged out, man. Read on. With good works. With good works. That's teaching God's laws, raising up the children correctly. Go ahead. Let the woman learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. That's good right there. That's just talking about when the Bible is coming out, let the woman learn in subjection. And if they have husbands, they ask their husbands at home. You understand that? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.